Hello there. It's your old buddy Carl Welshman here. Out in the garden. Digging a putting some foundations in for a for a wall. I'm gonna be terracing all this area. Like I did up here. Anyway, having a little break now. So for why not do a little review of Bar American Cream Soda. I do like a nice cream soda. Hopefully this is a nice cream soda. Actually, I already know what it is. I've already had it before. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Showing off a little brass, I'm sorry. There we go. <sighs> yeah, I reckon. A couple more. A couple more wheelbarrows of concrete. That'll be the foundations done, and then we can get building. Look at all these. There we go. Got all them bricks. I don't know whether it's going to be enough, but I reckon it'll all look nice when I'm finished. See, you've got to take advantage. I started this project in May of this year when we had two weeks of beautiful sunshine over here. And then randomly, it stayed warm, but it just rained every other day, every other day. And as anyone knows who's done a bit of work with concrete, you need a few dry days to get that concrete, let it settle, let it dry out, let it cure a bit. So I've seen on the old weather forecast that we've got Oh, at least three back-to-back -back warm days starting from today. So if I can at least get the foundation done, brilliant, brilliant. Get that foundation done, and then, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some a couple of late nights trying to get these oh, bricks in, trying to get the wall built. Uh, cream soda's good. It's a bit warm though. It's been sitting out in my back garden in a big old pallet because I can't fit it in the fridge because the fridge is for beers <laughs> beers and ham <laughs> uh, not cream soda and a lot of these flies right they keep trying to go in my ear I don't know what it is I think it's like some sort of thing to do with like either the moisturiser I use or something but they, they keep going for my fucking ears crazy they keep going in where, 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 trying to get my ears I hope they don't go in there really I got a phobia of having creatures inside my ear you know, I know it's a weird phobia. A lot of people out there are like, oh, I'd love to have some sort of insect burrowing inside my fucking ear, like a, a spider or some sort of little fly that's constantly buzzing. But call me weird, but I don't want that to happen. So I keep flipping out trying to get fucking flies off my ears. Maybe it's like my ears stink of shit or my head stinks of shit or something. Who knows? We'll just call this video uh, a break with Carl, maybe. Break time with Carl Welshman. What else? What else can I tell you? Eh, I've got a few more cooking projects. So, some of you might know, if you follow me and have watched every single one of my videos, I do a bit of cooking from time to time. I've got a new, a new cooking project coming up. So, I've been making sausages. And it's been friends and family that have been like, oh, can we get some of those fucking sausages, Carl? No, I can't post them. I can't post the sausages. However, I have got something that I'm going to be making that I can post out. And it's a, um, it's going to be different types of sauces. Not like crazy ass hot sauces, but just different types of sauces. Maybe a few cheeky spicy ones. Nothing too crazy. I, I don't like really really spicy things i know there's some people out there who love it and naturally are like oh yeah i do like a bit of spice but i can't stand people who eat 
you know, ghost chilies and they're trying to make out, oh, yeah, it doesn't do anything, oh, it's mild or, you know, that sort of shit. I mean, there might be some freaks out there that ghost peppers don't fucking do anything, but I'd say for the most part, people that are eating ghost chilies making out it's not that spicy are fucking lying. So I'm going to make sauces which I'll have a bit of spice. But mostly I'm just going to go for a nice flavour. So we've got a few ideas, a few ideas from my, my cooking experiences of the past. I'm going, to make, um, I'm going to make my own sort of base ketchup, which I'll then use to make barbecue sauce. Um, and I'm going to make a, a couple of like nice smoky garlic and pepper based sauces. So um, once I've got that cracked, once I'm happy with the recipe, I'll stick them on my website. I have got a website, which is just cooking stuff really to be honest like recipes and things is one of those flies now i just seen it seen out the corner of my eye um yeah I might talk about my website a bit more at some point but oh i just like making the videos really but anyway yeah stay tuned i'll, I'll, I'll put a few updates on here of the sources I'll, I'll as as they go on Big cloud come over. <coughs> Better not rain. <laughs> Imagine it rains now and just ruins three to four, maybe five hours of work. I really would not be impressed. Probably just throw this phone down into the fucking river down the bottom there. Just fucking throw it away. Stupid phone. No, actually, no, I wouldn't do that. That'd be a stupid thing to do. What an idiot. I've been wearing this as well while I'm working. I think it looks pretty fucking cool. It stinks though. Ugh, it's got like a greasy black mark in it. That's from my stinking head. Kind of growing on me. Oh god, it's so gassy. Do you know now that I've stopped, I can feel all of my joints aching. I can feel them all starting to get really painful, so I need to sink the rest of this. Crack on. Oh god. Uh, feeling a bit gross. Got all fucking cement dust all over me, so I'm gonna feel my skin tightening. Oops, excuse me. Oh god, my stomach's starting to hurt now. Right, come on, Carl. Let's get this. Oh god, it's, it's not smelling pleasant, jeepers. Right, let's get this in. Get this in and crack on. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. <coughs> that helped make my break a lot more entertaining. 